Oh, man. Now, it's your boy, Jackie Demix, and uh, Stefan Marbury. Now, he's calling out Michael Jordan this week, and pretty much is definitely nothing about basketball. I mean, if you know Stefan Marbury, that's a Negro who called himself Starberry and one who had the audacity to say he was the best point guard in the league at one time, and he said it was so obvious. He says it's as obvious as if it's raining outside or it's not. Now, in reality, Stefan Marbury is nothing more than a poor man's version of Allen Iverson. Actually, he lacked one one-hundredth of the skill that the answer did to be honest to be hey, listen he was a guy just that was just fucking jocking he had a big fucking martian cranium and that's it he's like the troy average to Allen iverson's 50 cent okay now he's getting at michael jordan today and i'm glad it's not about basketball because i would have roasted him but he's getting at jordan in particularly about the price of his sneakers now Jordans, and you guys know Jordan sneakers, everybody, jump man, jump man, listen, those are what I call Negro accessories, meaning you could lose your life being in the wrong hood with the wrong retros on because niggas and Jordans go together better than a goddamn Jew and a yarmulke, believe me, shit's just that real, now, the cheapest you could probably find a pair of Jordans for is about like 70 bucks, but it could go up to like hundreds, if not thousands. Just depends on how exclusive it is. And that's the game. Exclusivity. Now, Marbury thinks that's hella whack. And now he tweeted this out, right? He said, Jordan has been robbing the hood since kids dying for shoes and the only face this dude make is I don't care. The time will change. And before he actually tweeted out, homeboy, you're paying 200 for Jordans and they make him for $5. The shoes are made in China in the same places. Stay calm. We coming. Now, why is he saying this, right? Why is he speaking up now? Jordan's existed before he went to like China, right? Now, the reason why he's actually speaking up now, because I kind of agree with him and I kind of don't, but I'm going to tell you why he's speaking up. He got some sneakers for 15 bucks, but a lot of people are clowning him because it's 15 bucks. Now, here's where I disagree. Let me just put this out on the table at first, okay? I disagree with him that Jordan should be costing 15 bucks. Okay, capitalism runs the world. Obviously, if Negroes are dumb enough to pay $200 for a sneaker or any goddamn device, if the demand is there, and even if you put the price up, the demand still rises... Why not? Now, somehow, and this is a problem within the black community especially, but somehow, and it's not only the black community, most youth, for some reason, you increase the cost and you increase the demand. Now, there's a big difference between your shoes, and I'm talking to Stefan Marbury, there's a big difference between your shoes and, obviously, Jordans, okay? Let's not act like they're the same quality. They might cost around five or ten bucks to make, but your shit's not flying off the shelf, and, of course, it might be because of the cost, but it's not the same quality, okay? You could probably rock a Jordans for a good amount of time. Your shit is like a goddamn transformer. The first time you wear that motherfucker outside, it starts to transform. That shit ain't meant for normal human feet, okay? Let's be honest. It's meant to create corns, bunions, and basically, it's, you can't even do a fucking layup in them. I'm telling you the truth. Now, this is where I agree with him, okay? So I'm saying, listen, your shoes is not the same quality as Jordan. Stop trying to put his price or telling him he should reduce his price to match yours. Come on, man, okay? Don't hate the player, hate the game. But this is where I do agree with him about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan don't give two fucks about the black community, okay? Jordan knows that some of the practices that his companies use is to maximize money while sacrificing and ignoring the violence that it causes, okay? Especially within the inner city. And I'm talking about robberies and, of course, deaths, okay? Now, you might say, okay, what are you specifically talking about? Now, let me explain, right? If you know anything about Jordans, okay, the big hoopla is usually these, like, limited sneaker releases where they treat them like a motherfucking club, okay? Everybody comes out to these sneaker releases, they stand online for however long, right? And these stores usually are giving out, like, 20 of them, but they got, like, a 1,000 people online. So 20 sneakers, a 1,000 people online. There's probably going to be a fucking problem, right? Now, the sneaker stores usually don't have enough security, right? Nobody wants to pay for additional police security from the town, and what usually happens is is that somebody get robbed after they get their pair of sneakers, somebody get shot, somebody get killed, or somebody just get poked the fuck up, okay, that's what happens at a Jordan sneaker release, most likely, in the hood at least, right, now, um, I've suggested this, right, and, I, and this is the reason why I know Michael Jordan, they don't give a fuck, I've suggested a lot of people, the police have suggested this too, 
Take out all these goddamn, like, limited sneaker releases out of the goddamn inner cities or where police don't feel that it's safe to be and do it online. Do it online where people could actually either enter a contest or some type of raffle or do something that they could get a reserve ticket to actually show up. And when they show up, it's not a maybe I get the sneakers, it's a you show up for a pair, okay? Now, It's better than actually standing in line knowing somebody's probably loaded and somebody probably's trying to kill you for the pair that you got and they didn't get, okay? Now, the reason why they don't do it or they don't do it to that extent is because it's great promo. The long lines, it makes the news, okay? All the pictures go up online. It makes it seem like it's more exclusive because you see the amount of people out there and if you actually get a pair, you realize thousands didn't get their pair and you actually feel like you really did it. Now, the robberies, the deaths, right? So people get killed over it, right? People get robbed after they get it. Now, those don't really bother Jordan or they don't bother Nike or whoever you want to say is responsible for it because people love shifting the blame off Jordan like he has no fucking power, like he can't control this at all. And you got to realize why people point at him because this isn't happening everywhere, okay? This is not happening in Beverly Hills, but it's happening in the fucking hood, okay? Which if he's the black guy who's the face of the Jordan brand, right? Maybe he could possibly press one button, say one thing, probably get a change. He doesn't. Okay, so he doesn't give a fuck, okay, or at least he realizes that the money is way more important than the actual social costs, which are the debts, okay? Now, here's the problem, and I remember I pointed this out last time, because I remember him calling out Donald Sterling. He said Donald Sterling made some uh, comments that were anti-black people, and he definitely can't have that in the NBA. If you don't know, he's like an NBA owner. He pretty much made a stance on Donald Sterling. The reason why I said I don't give two fucks about what he said there is because he only make these statements and say he's going to be doing this, that, and third when it actually affects his bottom line. Donald Sterling was about to affect the bottom line of the NBA. He said, fuck that, get rid of this guy, we got to get him out of here, okay? Now, the people dying over Jordan sneakers, they're not affecting the bottom line. If anything, they're making it go up. They're making the value and the actual revenue go up. So, you know what he does? Turns a blind eye conveniently and that's the problem i have with michael jordan and that's the reason why i don't buy jordan's my goddamn self so in one sense i do agree with stefan marbury in another sense i'm like bro you're kind of trying to promote your own sneakers so i get the game and you're probably you're doing exactly what like Nicki minaj and everybody else does right There's an issue, and you only bring up that issue conveniently when you have a product to sell, okay? If he didn't have a product to sell, he wouldn't say shit. That's the problem as well. Get a comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. I'm out.